everyone. Welcome back to Reads Alerts Cafe and this is Miss Vita. If you are someone who is up to date about the latest book releases or if you are someone who is keen on Bollywood gossip, you would have already known that in December 2017, Soha Ali Khan published her first book, her autobiography named Perils of Being Moderately Famous. I have always wondered what it feels to be in a celebrity family but not being a great celebrity yourself. So I ordered the book. But when I read the book, I came to know that she is moderately famous and there is someone in her family who is not even famous. I ordered the Kindle edition of the book because I was traveling for New Year and I wanted something light and something fresh to take with me for reading. And this was a really good read, let me tell you guys. Right now, the book is available in Amazon and Flipkart for 171 rupees, and the Kindle edition is available for 137 rupees. But when I bought, it cost me 200 rupees. Too bad. So guys, this is the detail of the book given at the back of the cover. In case you don't know, Soha Ali Khan Patodi is a Bollywood actress coming from a celebrity family. She is also a princess because her father and her grandparents were ruling a place called Patodi. But guys. In case you are thinking this is a typical celebrity biography where so but guys in case you are thinking this is a typical celebrity biography where secrets will be revealed scandals and controversies will be discussed then you will be disappointed this is the story of a young girl who was born with fame that was passed on to her and finding her true identity and becoming a wonderful woman the book starts with the history of her great grandparents and shows us not only how her maternal relation goes back to Devindranath Tagore and how her paternal family ruled Patauti, but it also shows how her family for generations have stood up for what they think is right and even the girls were given the freedom to choose what they want in life irrespective of the social norms or tradition. And then she narrates how her parents shown in their individual careers doing their best even when they had their own personal setbacks and other responsibilities managing the household and their career well professionally. Then she narrates her childhood stories that growing up with parents and siblings which again shows family was the centerpiece of her life. Then Sohali Khan takes us to her college life abroad where she was alone and home away for the first time which then shows us how a backer became an actress, falling in love and marrying her fellow actor and now having the time of her life with her baby Naya. More than all this, you should be reading this book to see how a shy girl whose world revolved around her parents going to the same school, same place, having the same friends all her childhood, grows up and blossoms into a wonderful independent woman who takes the world with her head held high. You get to see and know a Soha Ali Khan who is independent, who has taken risks both in her career and personal friend, who has learned and grown in a foreign place for years and she believes in love, she believes in family but also believes that family and relations should uplift you instead of putting you down. One of my favorite lines from the book will be where she says, We are all flawed, we are all broken. It remains to be seen if our broken pieces fit together or if the jagged edges cut too deep. Now comes the best part about the book. If you are reading this book, above all this, you will find a journey. Literally, the journeys so highly kind of. The weight of the book is not on her celebrity life or celebrity family, but the experiences she had while growing up, while she lived her college life. The journeys that she has taken across the world, rediscovering herself. You will see hitchhiking, fun rides, nights in Paris, desert safaris, and much more. So, Although this is not the autobiography of a life coach or any guru, you will find inspiration in this. And that inspiration is in the form of travel. As I conclude, I would like to give this book 4 stars out of 5. 4 stars for all the travel inspiration and showing us family is the best irrespective of your socio-economic status. And for the strong lines she has penned down telling us how one should be their true self without compromising on anything for anyone. But I take away that one star because in the beginning there were too many facts and numbers regarding her family history. Although it's essential and expected in a biography, I found that part a little boring. So if you ask me if I will suggest this book to you, yes, I will definitely suggest you this book. It's actually cheap and actually very small that I finished it in one go while I was traveling for a few hours. I'm excited if she's going to write any more books.
and in case she is going to write any fiction i am wondering how it will be don't think the book is a fairy tale of a bollywood diva princess she has suffered losses she has met with confusion she has faced robbers she has lost ways she has been criticized she has been judged she has been dropped so if you want to know how she overcame all those and how it was to be moderately famous in an overly famous celebrity family go buy your own copies of perils of being moderately famous you can find the links to amazon and flipkart in the description box below so guys thank you so much for watching this is the first time i'm reviewing a book other than discussing about a book i read to my friends so please comment below how you found this review and also give me some suggestions for book reviewing in my upcoming videos do like and share the video and subscribe to read sarah's cafe if you have not done already until next time bye bye